Okay, so here we are on our first challenge. We got nothing. <laughs> uh, so the, the trick here is we've got an API that brings back JSON data. And that JSON data, uh, if I was to zoom this way up, is two tchotchke objects. And tchotchkes are like those toys you get, you know, when you go to McDonald's or you go to a trade show and, you know, 15,000 vendors are trying to get your attention and they throw you a pen tchotchkes. And if you've ever seen Office Spates, there was even a, um, a restaurant called tchotchkes. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a tchotchke creation and basically manipulation service. And it's purely a dumb demo uh, designed to play around with content. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to have a list of the existing tchotchkes. From there, we're going to move on into some more sophisticated stuff. But first, we need that list of data. So I've built out this simple container component, which is contain, ultimately going to contain the list and even a form to create new ones. And currently, it just has a mounted component called RxJS Playground Tchotchkes List. So if I go to list component here, which is that one. All right, it's a list of tchotchkes. I now have the ability, and this is stored within a module. We can look at that later if you'd like. Um, but you know, feel free to clone it and take a look. We're going to have this thing build a list. And so the first thing is we're going to do something. Uh, we're going to create an object called a service. A service is where you put business logic in an Angular application. And so we're going to do anything that interfaces with the business layer in a service and call it from our components to keep our component logic small and to have it reusable. So we're going to create a new file, tchotchkeys.service.ts. And tchotchkeys service is going to have a at injectable, which I'll explain a little bit later, but it's going to use a uh, an annotation called injectable. And it's just going to be a class. And that class is going to be created by Angular when we inject it into a component. Uh, and while we're talking about mechanics, we're going to go to the tchotchkes uh, uh, module here, which is where it lives. And we're going to add it to a section called providers. Providers are services. They provide services. So a class can provide a service. And when Angular sees a class, it'll do a new of it. And if it sees it decorated by at injectable, if you create a constructor, and actually I just need to do constructor to it. And Angular common HTTP is where that HTTP network service exists. It's a service that uses observables to execute um, and communicate the, the responses from execution uh, of network traffic. And basically it wraps your client requests. So that injectable makes the constructor allow injection. Without that, it can't actually mount the tchotchke service because it doesn't know where to get HTTP client from. Uh, it needs to be told, inject it from the container, from provided services through the provider section. It's one way to do that. And it's the common way. So now we've got our tchotchkes list component uh, it has, I'm sorry, we now have our Chosky service and it has a HTTP client. The next thing we want to do is we want to provide a method in there and we're going to put a type on here, observable, and it's an observable of HTTP, I'm sorry, of Chosky array. And it's going to return this.htp client.get of API tchotchkeys. But there's one more thing we have to do. With the HTTP client.get, we have to actually tell it the type. And 
And there we have it. So the get all tchotchkes method of our service will return an observable of type tchotchke array. And the tchotchke array is simply an array of data objects. So we have this tchotchkes model just to kind of switch over here. The best way to deal with these things is to make them interfaces in TypeScript uh, because you won't have to create them using the constructor. You can just tell uh, things to be that shape by casting them into tchotchke. And as long as they have those properties, they have that shape. So it's kind of like um, an abstract class in a way in Java, but it's they call them interfaces in TypeScript. So whereas interfaces in Java are more about methods, interfaces in TypeScript are also about data properties as well. Very powerful little feature. But our tchotchke service is going to get a tchotchkes array and bring it back through an observable in asynchronous time uh, by calling our RESTful service that we just played around with API tchotchkes. Right? So now we have a service we can work with. The next thing we need to do is kind of build up our calls in the actual component. So at bare minimum, we can inject into our component. So I can say constructor again. And now we can say tchotchkes service. And that is good enough. Notice I got that from the tchotchke service object. And notice that I don't need to decorate my component with injectable. Turns out components are already injectable. You've already got an annotation on them, and therefore they can be injected. And basically all the injectable does is add an annotation, and that annotation almost does nothing. It just registers it as something that could be injectable. So it's kind of like in the spring world in Java, it's like the at service uh, annotation, same deal. Okay, so now we've got our tchotchke service. Uh, and we can also now load this thing up on init. So implements variable, we're gonna make a variable and we're gonna call this tchotchkeys and it's a tchotchke array. And the other thing is get all tchotchkeys returns an observable. So you subscribe to it. And there can be two outcomes here. One outcome is it worked, another one that there's an error. So we want to be a little robust about this. Um, so the first thing is we might get the tchotchkes back. And if we do, we're going to set this dot tchotchkes equal to the tchotchkes coming in. So that first method, a first little arrow function says, on successful message delivery, and that's the first one to subscribe, bring back the tchotchkes and set them as an instance variable called tchotchkes. The second one is if we get an error, and that one will do an alert of json.stringify the error, just for now. Now, how can we see if this even works? Well, one way we can do it is we can put a pre-block up and say charge keys pipe to JSON. The JSON pipe will print them out nice in a tabbed format, and the pre-block will preserve that tab formatting. So again, we've got the service. The service is injected with the HTTP client API. We have get all charge keys in that service that returns an observable of charge key array. That's a one-shot message from the HTTP client get that will return the array of tchotchkes if we call the right network method. Let's see what happens. Um, and then on the initialization of our component, we subscribe to the get all tchotchkes in the tchotchke service, and we assign our incoming tchotchkes to the tchotchkes property of this, which is the component. If there's an error, we print out this, the JSON string of the error. And now at this point, we should get an answer back when it loads. And there they are. So that works. That's not good enough. What we really should do is we should really create a nice response table showing all the data that's coming back. And so I have that ready to go. Now let's take a look at this. There's our table. Looks okay to me. 
Uh, and we can get rid of our pre-block now because we know it's working. And that's it. So now I've got our list of tchotchkes. Uh, comes back, looks nice. Everything's nicely laid out. Oh, let's talk about that. What we've done in the uh, currency, for example, we piped price to currency. And quantity on hand also could be piped to number. Because if you have a large quantity on hand, you want it to look nice. So it'll put commas in there as well. So that's not a bad thing to do either. Though in the, the sample data we're listing, there's not anything that really needs that formatting. But there you go. I hope you find these useful. And if you're looking for on-site training, advice, mentoring, or technical help with any area of your full stack development efforts, head over to chariotsolutions.com to check out our services. Thank you.